what is happening guys Mike here welcome back to the channel today we have a highly anticipated review I've gotten a lot of questions already about this product I know quite a few have been waiting for this and I have spent the last week examining this product and all of your questions and I'm confident here and now that I am ready to present to you my thoughts on the new Forte series texture clay All right, so we've got a lot to cover today. It's probably going to be a very long video, so let's not waste any time here. For those that may not know, I'm sure all of you know by now, but if you don't, the new Forte Series Texture Clay is a new brand and product from Alex Costa. And first and foremost, let me just say this video is not sponsored. It's I wasn't paid or anything like that by Alex Costa or this brand. I've never actually even spoken to Alex Costa. Honestly, the people running the brand, the Forte Series, reached out to me to review the product and if I'm being honest here I'm not even a subscriber to Alex Costa's channel and I mean no disrespect by that at all I mean uh, the dude's channel is worlds bigger than mine he probably doesn't even know I exist at this point so I don't mean any disrespect and not that it would matter anyway but I'm just trying to give you guys a little you know backstory on my connection to Alex Costa and the brand and honestly when I accepted this review you know I, I thought well it's just gonna be a, a regular review I'm gonna try it out I'm gonna tell people what I think but this turned out to be a lot more legwork than I expected and honestly that that really had me surprised and here's why the hundred percent truth of it was I expected this to arrive in the mail I'd open it I'd use it I'd test it out form an opinion you know regular stuff I'd share it with you guys and yes that's what I did and that's what I'll share with you today but after receiving it in the mail and opening the jar I just instantly realized this was gonna be a bit more than what I expected and there's no other way to do this I'm just gonna come out and say it when I first opened the jar and I looked down at it it hit me square in the face I I have seen this before I mean you guys know I'm hundred percent honest with you in these reviews in my opinion there's really no other way to do it but at first glance this looked pretty much identical to me to Cavalier clay ocean clay claymation it just looked so much like those products that I just couldn't avoid it upon further examination though and this is the first thing I want to mention and I'm doing this on purpose because this is very important the first thing that I did notice after you know further examination is that this is not a white label product I really want to nip that in the bud and just attack that first off in this video this is not a white label product this is not one of those situations where it's a copycat something like that and I am gonna present to you all my information all the proof everything like that later in the video but I did want to just attack that right away because I didn't want anyone to discount this as a white label product because that wouldn't be fair but we are gonna go through everything as normal what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna present to you the information on this product and then we're gonna go through a series of comparisons to the other clays now you guys know I hate comparisons I hate them with a passion 99% of the time they are useless but this is a situation where I'm going to concede and just say this makes a little bit of sense we are gonna compare it to claymation Cavalier clay and ocean clay and I'm going to do that at the end of this video and before we do that I am just going to present to you guys all the standard info and my experience with the Forte clay let's get started with that right now uh, according to the brand the Forte series texture clay is an extreme hold high texture hair clay that allows you to achieve your ideal hairstyle and keep your hair in place all day they also say it was formulated based on the highest standards for hair aesthetics besides features like the extreme hold it also offers natural based ingredients like argan oil for damaged free hair an all natural scent and an easy one shampoo washout it also comes in a 3.4 ounce jar for 1850 us inside the jar we have a very thick and familiar consistency except here this one is much thicker I mean it's not really too thick it's not a back of the thumb level of thick you just need a bit of pressure to get it out of the jar and it's pretty much the same in the hand as well but it doesn't really take too much pressure to break down now for styling I didn't feel like there was really any point in exploring you know a bunch of different styling methods I mean this clay looks pretty straightforward to me as far as using it so I went with my usual dry hair method here and this is where we started here we have freshly washed and blow-dried hair no pre stylers oils sprays anything added in there this is all natural so I can show you guys what this product does by itself and as I work in the first scoop I can tell you this has some serious tack to it I was a bit surprised really I kind of expected it to be a tad bit slicker than what it is but it is pretty tacky it does also have a fair amount 
amount of dryness to it as well. It's not quite overwhelming for me since I do keep my hair fairly smooth with shampoos and things like that, but I did want to make sure that I mentioned that. I am using a total of two scoops here, and as I move it around, I also feel like it does have quite a bit of hold. It's making my hair feel quite secured. It also gives me a good idea that I can do a lot of things with this product, like I could polish it up if I wanted to and use my comb, which still does work, or I can just stick to finger combing and achieve something a little messier or obviously something in between if that's where I wanted to go. Overall, this does tell me that this is a fairly strong styler. And here's the end result that I decided to go with here. You can see it's got that texture. There's some good volume. Hold is obviously strong. And here's a look at that same style four hours later. And man, we got some deflation going on there. That's a bit discouraging really to see. But on the other hand, that hold is still very much present. It's not falling down completely or anything like that. But we did lose some of that texture and volume and at eight hours we can see maybe a tiny bit more of that but I think it actually looks pretty much the same I don't think it would be fair to say it deflated even more because I think it did hold on fairly well for being eight hours in I do think the hold stayed put too I can actually feel it as I move my hair around so I do think this is pretty good for being eight hours in all deflation aside now what I'm gonna do here real quick is give you guys my final thoughts quickly because I feel like we need to get that out of the way and just talk about the other side of this review as far as washout goes I can consider this one an easy washout. I shampoo and condition every day anyway, and you do need just one shampoo to get this out of your hair. So for me, that's still easy. I think it qualifies as very easy, actually. The scent, they do list this as natural, but by that, I'm what I mean is you get the natural smell of the ingredients because this product is not scented. And for people like me that are sensitive to scents, that can be a good thing. And for those that use colognes and things like that, having your hair product clash with that can you know be annoying sometimes so this can be a good thing in my opinion on the other hand uh, it, the the ingredients for me they don't exactly smell great which is why I think we sent these things you know because sometimes the ingredients don't smell really good in this per particular case the ingredients you know that the smell that it gives off is very mild and in my opinion it's not especially offensive so I want to make that clear it's not terrible but I would have liked to see even a light fragrance is what I'm getting I would have liked to see even a light fragrance in there but after using the product putting it through the paces and you know checking endurance everything like that what I think overall just looking at this by itself I think the hold strength is probably in the realm of a firm or heavy for sure I think it's got a great amount of hold I think for sure that part was I just knocked this over. I think that part was really well done. I think people with thick hair are really going to appreciate that level of hold and the fact that it holds up, you know, I say holds up all day because that that presence, the hold presence was there all day. It did deflate, you know, going into the the endurance it did deflate a lot but you could still feel that hold so it was still putting in some work at the end of the day and that's what I'm talking about the texture also was really nice in the beginning but you know talking about that endurance again it just took off within the first four hours which was kind of a bummer to me I really would have liked to see that stick around a bit longer but you know that's what I saw so that's what I'm reporting when it does come down to it though that texture and volume deflation was really the two downfalls for me I thought it was really kind of weird that it was so strong in the whole department in the beginning and so sticky in that application it led to some really great styling results only to have that disappear soon after it didn't make much sense to me it also felt a bit heavy in the hair and I think that that had an impact on the endurance I think over time it just became really heavy in my hair and that impacted the volume ability and the endurance and I, you know I have heavy hair to begin with so you match it with a heavy set product like this I think it just tipped over and couldn't stand up I do though think that for the price that you know the price and the value for money it's definitely there I mean 1850 for 3.4 ounces I I definitely think that the value is there that's a great price a great size and I absolutely commend them for going that route I think that was a great choice so good on them for that now though let's discuss the elephant in the room there's really no escaping the fact that appearance wise this looks a bit like cavalier ocean clay and claymation i mean to be totally honest to not acknowledge this 
and I know you guys have already noticed it yourself, but to not acknowledge this would be just completely dishonest in my opinion. And so what I did was I did a, you know, a, an in-depth analysis and retested all these products to try to give you guys the most accurate picture possible when it comes to comparing all four of these clays. Next, what I did to start this little investigation though was I went through all the ingredients of all the products and here you can see for yourself that there's some of the same ingredients used, yes, in these products, but none of the products have the same ingredients in the same order. Looking at this clay up close though, it's just got such a close consistency to the others. I mean, it's just completely undeniable in my opinion that it looks so close to these other clays. So the next thing that I wanted to check was consistency. Here's another look at the Forte clay compared to each of these other clays. The most obvious difference that you can see for yourself here is that the Forte series clay is thicker than the rest. It's obviously thicker. It may look like Cavalier is also just as thick, but it's actually a tiny bit slicker compared to the Forte series clay. While the Ocean clay is even slicker than that, and Claymation is even slicker than that in my opinion. So comparison wise, it pretty much looks similar, but when you actually get down and scoop it and look closely, there is a big difference between the Forte series clay and the rest of these. So after we established that, the next thing we had to look at is styling attributes to find the differences here. And an easy difference that I found in all of these, you know, all of them comparatively, is that the Forte series clay is much stickier than all of them. And I don't mean that in a bad way, I'm just saying it's an easy difference to establish. I was able to find that it's drier and stickier than all of the rest. But I did go ahead and film up four styles for you guys right here. It's you know my usual style, just with the four different clays, so you guys can see the looks on all of them. And it's a bit hard to tell the difference here, honestly, just by looking at it. But with the exception of claymation, the other two just give off more of a lightweight presence, still full of hold though, but you know with different shades of texture as well. When you really look closely, I think personally the Forte series clay has more physical traits like you know, visual appearances and consistency traits, not talking performance, just looking at it. I think it has more similarities to claymation than the other two clays, especially when you look at the, the color. The color is closer to claymation than it is to Cavalier and ocean clay so that's a big difference there but when compared to claymation performance wise i would say that the forte series clay just beats the pants off it in terms of hold strength styling ability and value for money so we can just knock that one straight down right away in looking at the other two though in looking at ocean clay and cavalier you will find forte to be stickier that's just a big difference there it's the major difference i keep hammering down in this review is that it's drier it's stickier it's a big part of this product for me and the other part is it's a heavy product it was heavy weight in my hair and these two clays are much lighter in the hair and then when it comes to Cavalier specifically it's got that delayed activation feature that the Forte does not remember this one kind of goes through that shift later in the day that the, the Forte series obviously doesn't have that and so really in terms of styling and styling ability that's a huge difference between Cavalier and the Forte clay looking at the ocean clay too there are you know a couple similar things it probably Probably has similar hold and texture you know it's got it right around the same volume initially but you know with the ocean clay you don't lose it once you have it you also have that nice health feature it's got a lot of healthy ingredients it's got that one special I can't remember the name of it or produ 500 that's what it is it's got that really nice uh, healthy soft feeling in your hair it makes it feel really nice and nourished and of course that is not present in the forte clay so again that's just a big distinct difference between the two now all that being said my how would i rank them which one is better which one's worse blah 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 this is my ranking system here's how it goes first up i would say is Cavalier Clay. I think I give this top marks. This is my preference out of the four. This one for me works the best still. And I think the reasoning behind that is quite obvious, but this is number one. Number two is the Ocean Clay. Number three would be the Forte Clay. I think this comes in at number three, which of course puts Claymation in dead last at number four. You know, that's just my honest opinion. I think that value for money 
The Forte clay actually beats all four of them value for money because you, you're $18.50 for that 3.4 ounce jar. But when it comes to performance, I do think number one goes to the Cavalier clay. I still think that it works probably a little bit better for my hair based on everything that I've seen with it in the past and everything that I've seen in this review from the Forte series clay. But you know, that's just one man's opinion. I'm a nobody from Nebraska. That's just my opinion. It's up to you guys to form your own opinion. I do think that, you know, this, this one was pretty interesting it, it gave me a little extra work to do which I appreciate you know it kind of breaks the norm for a standard hair product you know and as a youtuber that owns a brand I respect the hell out of what they're doing at what Alex is doing in the Forte series I absolutely respect them and I appreciate them giving me the opportunity to share my thoughts with them and you guys here on the channel and there were things that I thought that this product did well I thought that you know the hold strength was just really nice I thought thought it applied really well for being how thick it was. I thought it applied surprisingly well for being how thick and dry that it is that it's still styled fairly easily. So there are some good things to mention about this as well, you know, but the endurance and things like that were my two main issues. But if you enjoyed this review and I was able to help you out with this product, make sure you tap that like button for me and consider subscribing if you have not already. That really helps me out and helps the channel grow. If you're already watching the videos already, I mean, why not? If you're already watching the videos, just click the button. It's really easy and it's a big help to me. Thank you in advance for doing that. I also want to thank you for stopping by the channel today and checking out this video. I will be back to you guys again very soon and until then, you take it easy. I'll see you next time.